We may in the end actually get Donald Trump's taxes. After waiting several months, House Dems are now pushing for it to be revealed. There is apparently legal footing for them to get those taxes. A law passed in 1924 gives the chair of the House Ways and Means Committee the power to request any individual's tax returns from the Treasury Department for review in closed session. That includes the president. Now that legal authority should never need to be exercised because it's been a longstanding tradition that you get to see the president's taxes. That is sort of a necessary part of understanding if they're going to abide by the law as president. And as far back as February of 2015, when Trump was still just considering running, he told Hugh Hewitt that if he ran, quote, I would release tax returns. Then after getting in the race in August of 2015, he said, at some point I'll release it. But if you've been paying attention to politics, over the past couple of years, you know that that never happened. And his excuses about why he wouldn't release his taxes evolved over time. He eventually settled on, I'm under audit. That yes, all of his taxes going back his entire life are being audited still. Now we know that that's a lie. We also know that it doesn't matter if they're being audited, he could still release his taxes, he chooses not to. But the chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, Richard Neal, he promised during the campaign that he would get the taxes, he's now doing that. They are looking for the 2013 to 2018 federal income tax returns for Trump entities connected to him, including business entities, and also information about any audits that are ongoing. Now, understand, he's not asking Trump to release these things. He's going directly to the Treasury Department. And so we will finally find out were those actually were those audits actually going on? Now, in the end, again, it doesn't matter. You could still release the taxes, but we want to know for sure if he was lying and what is in actually actually in those taxes. Now, after it was revealed that they would be getting them, Trump was asked about this and he said, uh, he's still under audit. I'm always under audit, it seems. And he says he's not inclined to release his returns. But again, I'll remind you, the request was to the IRS. It was not to him. That was pointed out on Twitter by Representative Alexandria Casa Cortez, who said, Congress, we're going to need a copy of the president's tax returns. Trump, no, I'm under audit. Congress, we didn't ask you, which I just love. And this is one of the representations of why a change in control of Congress is pretty important. Because finally, you have people who care whether the law is actually being abided by. Now, does this mean that we're gonna get the taxes anytime soon? Not necessarily, despite the fact that the law is incredibly clear that they can get those taxes. They can't necessarily release them publicly. It's for a sort of internal review, but they can get them. That doesn't mean that we're gonna get them. Steve Mnuchin might decide that his position is less being in the Treasury Department to abide by the law and more to protect Donald Trump from any sort of scrutiny. So he might block it, it might start an ongoing, perhaps long court process, but at least the process has begun. And there is some chance that before the 2020 election, we will actually know what Donald Trump has been so scared will be revealed when his taxes are finally public. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.